Hello everyone, how are you all? Hope you people are doing fantastic. And today I am here with a super duper trick on hybridization. And you all know how important our hybridization is for the competitive exams like JE mains, NEET, or whichever entrance exam uh, that is there for medical and engineering courses. Uh, so hybridization based questions are very common, right? Not necessarily only on hybridization they ask you. Uh, maybe based on a hybridization you will have to work with the certain questions. So uh, for such questions, solving hybridization, getting hybridization is very important. Where many of the children feel difficult with the hybridization. But here we have a very nice trick. If you can learn this hybridization trick, I am sure you will love working with the molecules and finding their hybridizations. Okay, so let us go for the topic. And what I suggest you is before going for the trick to learn, you should have certain basics that is very much essential to understand the trick actually. So the first and foremost is you should have this idea like which element coming in which group and how many valence electrons they have. Okay. Uh, I have listed some elements, some common elements that can be asked has been listed on a board and you can see a uh, group number 13, like all elements coming in group 13 will definitely have how many valence electrons? 3. And I listed two famous elements of group 30, first one is boron and another one is aluminium. Next group number 14, okay. Uh, say for example carbon and silicon and they will have valence electrons 4 and elements of group 15 nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic they will have the valence electrons 5 and group 16 elements like oxygen, sulfur, selenium they will have the valence electrons 6 and group 17 elements we all know all are halogens and they will have the valence electrons 17 and group 18 elements the noble gases will have 8 valence electrons. So this is the compulsory required idea that you should have before working with the trick on hybridization. And the next thing is the formula. This is what the trick you will apply for the compounds. Okay. So the formula is number of sigma bonds plus number of lone pairs. Okay. So usually hybridization of a molecule is nothing but uh, hybridization of a central atom. Okay, say for example PCL5. So which is the central atom here? Phosphorus. So phosphorus hybridization you are going to find out. Okay, so how is uh, the various orbitals of phosphorus are mixing up with each other to equalize their energies. This is what the main concept of hybridization. So hybridization is a concept you should study with respect to the central atom of a molecule. Okay. So whenever you see a molecular ion, you should able to find which is a central ion. Okay. So that is very important. So central ions hybridization we are actually calculating. Okay. With the help of the formula that is this. Right. And now I have few molecules. Say PCL5, as I already told you, phosphorus is the central atom. And coming to XeF4, Xe, xenon is the central atom. And XeOF4, again here, xenon is the central atom. Okay, so finding of the central atom in a molecule is very much essential. So this idea you should have. Uh, and to that central atom, we are applying this particular formula here. So, what is the formula? Number of sigma bonds plus number of lone pairs. We are finding out how many sigma bonds are there. And we are also finding out how many lone pairs are there. And we are adding. So, on adding you will get certain digit, right? Definitely some number you will get. If you get a number 2, then it is having sp hybridization. And if you get a number 3, then sp2. If you get number 4, sp3 hybridization. If you get number 5, sp3d and if you get 6, sp3d2. Okay. So, this is another basic information you should have. So, the three points you should compulsorily aware of. First one is on looking at a molecule, the central atoms hybridization. You should able to pick which is a central atom. Okay. 
and after that in that central atom to which group it belongs to okay and group wise valence electrons try to remember and then the formula this is the formula you should apply for the central atoms and after applying the formula you will get certain digit and if you get two what does it mean if you get three what does it mean okay so this is the basic idea that you are applying in a trick okay now let us see the example pcl5 let me try finding phosphorus hybridization okay hybridization of this particular molecule so apply a trick what is a trick number of sigma bonds plus number of lone pairs okay so your central element is phosphorus and this phosphorus belongs to which group definitely 15th group so how many valence electrons does it have five valence electrons right so put five dots 1 2 3 4 five okay and now these are our valence electrons present in the phosphorus okay one electron will make one sigma bond with one chlorine how many chlorine atoms are there five each chlorine definitely makes one sigma bond with one electron present right so one sigma bond second one third one fourth one fifth one five cls will make single bonds with the five valence electrons so these are our sigma bonds so now apply a trick for this molecule number of sigma bonds are how many 1 2 3 4 5 right plus how many lone pairs are there do you have any lone pairs do you find any other extra electrons here no right so lone pairs are zero so 5 plus 0 you will get 5 so if you are getting a digit 5 then what does it mean it means the molecule is having sp3 dehybridization so what is the hybridization of pcl5 sp3 dehybridization okay so this is the way you will have to apply your trick very simple isn't it and now let us try for xef4 so xenon so xenon belongs to which group xenon is belonging to 18th group so how many valence electrons do you have in xenon eight valence electrons so how many dots you are going to put 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8. okay now four fluorines are there no so each fluorine is going to make a sigma bond right so it will take up one electron four fluorines no so 1 2 3 4 so four electrons among a four electrons has been taken up by four fluorines okay now apply a trick number of sigma bonds are how many 1 2 3 4 sigma bonds in the sense single bonds okay so 4 plus how many lone pairs are there pair pair in the sense two electrons right so this is one pair this is one pair this is another pair so how many lone pairs all together two so 4 plus 2 how much do you get six so if you get a digit six then which hybridization does it have sp3 d2 sp3 d2 okay so this is how we will have to work it out and now next compound xeof4 okay so here also central element is xenon so how many dots you are going to put xenon belongs to 18th group so it is having eight valence electrons isn't it so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and now see fluorine four fluorines are there each fluorine will take up one electron only so four fluorines you are having four sigma bonds and coming to the bonding with oxygen and xenon always between an oxygen the bonding will be double bond okay so two electrons are taken up by one single oxygen okay that means two bonds will always form between an element and oxygen among the two bonds one bond will be sigma another bond will be pi remember this so among the two bonds formed with oxygen one is a sigma bond another one is a pi bond okay now apply the formula here how many sigma bonds are there 1 2 3 4 5 among the two bonds only one is sigma you should count only the sigma bonds okay so five sigma bonds are there plus how many lone pairs are there see one pair of electrons are left free so that is one lone pair is there 
So 5 plus 1, it is 6. That means this molecule is also having sp3 d2 hybridization. Okay. So this is how you will have to work hybridization. Now we will go for checking hybridization for ions. Some ions. These are actually neutral molecules. Now let us go for some ions. Let us go for ammonium ion. NH4 plus. Okay. So concentrate the charge. What charge you have. So here if plus is there. You are removing one electron. From the valence electrons. If minus is there. You are adding one electron to the valence electrons. Okay. So just look at the workout. You will understand. So what is the central atom here? Nitrogen is a central atom. So nitrogen belongs to which group? Nitrogen belongs to 15th group. Isn't it? So 15th group elements will have 5 valence electrons. So you are putting 5 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Plus is there. Yes or no? Whenever plus is there, cancel out one electron. Okay. Cancel out one electron. You should not include this electron. Okay. Fine. And now uh, how many hydrogens are there? 4 hydrogen. Each hydrogen will take up one electron. Okay. So 4 hydrogens. No? So finally you will have 4 sigma bonds here. Apply the trick here. 4 sigma bonds. Number of sigma bonds are 4. Plus number of lone pairs are how many? Lone pairs. There are no lone pairs. 0. Okay. So whenever plus is there. Remember cancel out one electron. Remove one electron. Okay. So just... Try to write here, whenever plus is there, remove, remove one electron and apply your formula. You will get correct answer. Fine. So 4 plus 0, your answer is 4. So if you are getting a digit 4, it is sp3 hybridization. Okay, fine. And coming to the next molecule, carbonate ion, CO3 minus 2. So central atom is carbon, okay. So, carbon belongs to 14th group. 14th group elements will have 4 valence electrons. So, you will be putting 4 dots initially. 1, 2, 3, 4. And minus 2. Minus 2 in the sense you are adding 2 electrons. Whenever minus is there, you are adding an electron. Whenever plus is there, you are removing an electron. Okay. So, if minus 1 was there, you add 1 electron. But here minus 2 is there now. So, to that I am adding 2 electrons. Okay. So, whenever minus is there, actually these 2 electrons are added electrons. Added electrons because minus minus is there. Why we have added 2 electrons to the valence electrons? Because minus 2 is there. Right. Okay. So, now work out. Apply the trick. Uh, oxygen, right. So, you have oxygen, 3 oxygens. I told you oxygen will always take up 2 electrons. Yes or no? One forms a sigma bond, another one forms a pi bond. So this is uh, another oxygen taking two electrons. And now the third oxygen also, third oxygen also taking two electrons. Right. And now among the two bonds, one is sigma, one is pi. And here also one is sigma, one is pi. And here also one is sigma, one is pi. And now how do you apply the trick? What does the trick include? Number of sigma bonds. You should consider only the sigma bonds. You should not consider the pi bonds. Okay. So how many sigma bonds? 1, 2, 3. Just 3 sigma bonds are there. Okay. Uh, see the, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You should not put a digit 6 here. Among the 6 bonds, 3 are pi bonds, 3 are sigma. So you are considering only 3 sigma bonds plus lone pairs are 0. So you are getting a digit 3. So if you get a digit 3, then it is sp2 hybridization. Okay. So, it is sp2 hybridization. Coming to SO3 minus 2. Hmm? SO3 minus 2. So, sulfur. Sulfur belongs to which group? Group number 16. Group number 16 will have 6 valence electrons. Yes or no? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And minus 2 is there. Minus 2 in the sense you are adding, add, add electrons here. Okay, so how many electrons you are adding? Two electrons you are adding because minus two is there. Fine. And now three oxygens, right? Each oxygen will take up two electrons. This is one oxygen, this is second oxygen and this is your third oxygen. Okay, and among the two bonds, one is sigma and here also among the two bonds, one is sigma, one is sigma. So apply the trick. 
for this molecule? How many sigma watts? Three. Okay. How many lone pairs? Lone pairs are there. How many lone pairs? Just one pair. Right? Even a single electron is there, you should not consider. It should be a pair. Pair in the sense two electrons make up one pair. Okay? So, one pair is there. One lone pair. So, 3 plus 1, 4. So, if you get a digit 4, what does it mean? It means that it is showing sp3 hybridization. Okay? So, this is what the trick you have to follow. And now, ClO3 minus. ClO3 minus. Cl is the central atom. So, Cl belongs to 17th group and it is having 7 valence electron. Yes or no? Put 7 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And 1 minus is there. So, you are adding 1 electron, 1 extra electron. Okay? And the 3 oxygens, we all know each oxygen will take up 2 electrons. Okay? So, this is how it is taking these many electrons and among them one is pi, another one is sigma. Okay. And now apply the formula here. How many sigma bonds? Three sigma bonds. Plus do you have any lone pair? Definitely. This is one lone pair. So, three plus one, four. So, if you are getting a four, then it means it is showing sp3 hybridization. Okay. So, this is how you can apply a trick. For a neutral molecule, for positive ions as well as the negative ion. Okay. And if you know this logic of finding hybridization, next you can find the shape of a molecule, that is geometry of a molecule, like whether it is tetrahedral, pyramidal, seesaw or whatever it is. Okay. And actually this trick involves, one is finding hybridization and another one is using this you can make out how many lone pairs are there in a molecule? Okay. How many lone pairs are there in a molecule? For that also this trick can be helpful. And also for the hybridization. If you know hybridization as well as how many lone pairs. Definitely you can able to guess what is the geometry of a molecule. Okay. And I am going to teach you the easiest way to find the geometry of a molecule in my next video. Using hybridization trick. Okay. So till then. Take care and keep revising the concept. Thank you. Share the video. Like it and subscribe our channel.